I've grown one of my Pinterest business accounts from 200 monthly views all the way up to 5,700 monthly views in the course of less than a month. If you aren't on Pinterest, using Pinterest to gain organic traffic for your offers, your website, your business, then you need to get with it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create 100 Pinterest pins in 10 minutes because I know that people think Pinterest is very tedious as far as scheduling pins and creating pins and everything else, but I've got you covered when it comes to creating the pins themselves. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Nicole and I'm a content marketer and strategist here to help you amplify your brand through content. Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. All right, so I just wanted to start out by taking you on the back end of my Pinterest feed in order to show you exactly what's happened with my profile in the last month. So let's go ahead and look here and look on the business profile. But before I do that, I'm going to show you this. So 5.7 thousand monthly views. And I will show you the actual proof showing you that it has grown exponentially in the last month. So I've gained over 2,000 impressions here. So let me show you this. This may not be super impressive by some other people's standards, but if you're only starting out at 200 monthly views and then you start pinning and, and get up to 6,700 views, then yeah, that's pretty impressive. And the fact that it's been less than a month is super impressive. So I'm gonna show you here proof that I had pretty much nothing as far as impressions were concerned. And this is where I only had 200 monthly views. At the time of this recording, we're actually a little less than a month shy of one month, but I will show you that I've actually had a lot of growth. And these are the days that I publish blogs and you can see that these impressions are growing and we are probably trending. Hopefully we're not going to hit bottom line again, but we're probably trending upward here. So I just wanted to show you that. So as far as making these 100 pins, it's as simple as going to Google Sheets. And so I'm going to show you that now. Enjoying this content? Subscribe to the Content Bite newsletter for weekly tips, strategies, and tools that'll help you amplify your brand with content marketing. As a bonus, you can refer friends to the Content Bite newsletter to unlock extra tools to help you grow your business. Click on the link below to sign up. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. I have already set up five pin titles. And so what you need, if you are directing something to a blog, you have your overall blog title, and then you make up another four titles that could go with that blog. So you need a total of five titles, and you need to go ahead and set up a column for title and set up a column for description if you want a description. So some of my pins on Pinterest do not have descriptions, and I'll show you that they do not have descriptions. And so you can do it either way, it does not matter. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it with descriptions. So this one right here actually has a description. So this is a title and then under here, under see more stats is the actual description. So let's go back to Google Sheets. And so I've got one column with title, one column with description, and I've got five different titles. You're probably wondering where you get 100 from. And so what we're basically going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to copy this until it hits 100. All right, now that we've got the titles, let's go ahead and move on to the descriptions. Okay, so let's go to Canva and what you want to do is create a design and you're going to look for a Pinterest pin. It's already in my history here, so that's what I'm going to use. And you have a ton of different templates that you can actually choose from. And as you see that there are some templates here on the side that I've already worked with and looked at. So let's go ahead and see about a template to use. So now that I have a title and a description, I'm going to need a pin that has room for both. 
You can always create your own templates. That's completely fine too, but it's nice to just have a template that's already there for you. So what I'm going to do is I like this one because it does have a title and it does have a description and it does have learn more now. So what I'm going to do is this right here. You can go ahead and change the font. You can change it up. I don't like this particular font, so I'm going to use another font and see how that looks. And then you can change the spacing. Make sure to change the spacing. Um, make sure to change the spacing on your template because you don't want it to go through when you're actually duplicating everything and making 100 pins all together. So change that spacing. Make sure that's changed. Make sure you have the font size, the size that you want it. Okay, I want it a little bit bigger. And we can say learn more now, or we can say read the blog or just some kind of call to action here. Learn more now is fine. And then visit my website to learn how to start a new beauty business. I don't want that. So let's do this and I'll fix that spacing again. Okay. All right. So as you can see, this is a title for a um, template or a blog template on this particular template. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this information here for my business. Right here. And then right here, what you want to do, and I just, you know, this is just from testing this out. What you want to do is go back to your title and I want you to pick the longest title that you have to see how it actually fits. And so this is the longest title I have. And I want to see how it fits. Okay, so that's what the longest title looks like. So that means I just need to move this down. I may need to move that up. And let me see letter spacing. I want to change that letter spacing. Okay. So these are all just, you know, your personal preference on what you want to do as far as changing things around for your actual template. And I'm going to change this to a true white. I'm going to change this to a true white and I want to lower this. I don't want this that thick. All right. So I've lowered that and Let's see, maybe I want to actually make this a little bit longer, move this down a little bit. I can move this and learn more now. Actually, I think I like it better up here. I think I like it better smaller. Okay, so now that we have your template, this is your template. What we are going to do is we're going to get the other 99 pins in. Well, actually the actual, 100 pins in with your titles and your descriptions. So what we need to do here is we need to make brackets and we need to write title. And then this one here needs to be brackets and description. Okay, and so now what we need to do is we go over to apps And then we go to bulk create. And what we're going to do is upload a CSV. So I need to come here. I need to actually download this file as a CSV, which does not take that long. Okay. So I've downloaded that file as a CSV, upload CSV. And let's see my downloads right there and open it up. Okay, so now you can see that you have a title and you have a description for your two data fields. And we're going to go with continue and it is selected all 100 and we're going to generate 100 designs. 
And as you can see, you have a hundred pins. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what's going on because they all look alike. What am I supposed to do? I can't post a hundred pins that look alike. And it's an easy way to fix this. And as far as the images are concerned, what I like to do is I don't like to upload the images automatically. What I do is I just come over here. Let's see. Um, Okay, so what I do here is I just go ahead and get my images from Canva. And what I do is I just go through and I change each one. This, trust me, is a whole lot quicker than trying to actually upload this and have it bulk create with a hundred different designs because I have tried it both ways and it does not work as well as you would think it does. It's still very time consuming. So this right here, just coming through and changing your pictures does not take long at all. And so, yes, they still look pretty much the same, except for everything has a different picture. But what you can do is you can come over to brand if you have the pro plan and every single one of these you can change around. So all I have to do is shuffle. And as you can see, now we are in black. So I go back to another one and I shuffle and now it's pink. Go back to this one. Oops. Well, that one's blue go back here again shuffle this is yellow and you can always come through here and you can start changing up the colors here as well and make these all different colors so by the time you're done with the hundred you've got a different picture on the background you've got different color scheme all together and you also have different titles and different descriptions after you're done actually customizing these as far as your colors are concerned and as far as your pictures are concerned then you can download these and you can put them up on pinterest and start gaining traffic so i hope you like this video if you are interested in learning more about chat gpt prompts specifically for pinterest go ahead and check down below because I'm going to drop a link down below for you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.